Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Garrett here and we are back today in Farming Simulator 15. And I opened this world up yesterday because I was going to get some preparations done for this episode and I realized I have $977,286, yeah, whatever, ton of money. And I'm like, well, how did this happen? Turns out, the night after I recorded the last episode, I was editing it, and I was just planting these fields, and I just left the game idling, and I went to bed, and I totally forgot, and my solar arrays just accumulated a ton of money. So, I don't know, do you want to call that cheating? I don't, I didn't mean to, it was, <laughs> I may have cheated without even trying to, so... You guessed it, we're going to go on a shopping spree before we get into the real business end of this farm. We're going to go on a shopping spree. This is going to be so fun. I think we're going to get a better harvester. Or actually, no, I'm going to give... I, I feel kind of bad buying that thing and not giving it any work. I think we'll just... We're going to sell this because we need a better planter because I'm fed up with cultivating. It's driving me nuts. And so I planted all three fields. I planted 24, 29, and 38, because those are the three fields that I currently own besides four, but that's planted with grass for the sheep. And uh, we're ignoring the sheep because, because I think we may actually, if I don't take too long to do all of this, we may actually have a payday from them because that flatbed trailer that I have over there is almost full of wool. Um, okay, so we'll escape R. No, I don't want to sell that. I want to sell the planter because I need to use the tractor to move that other tether in here. Bonk, there we go. Yes, sell that. Now we'll go move this tether. As you can see, I was trying to do that. I think I'm that I'm forgetting. Did I show that in the last episode? I probably did, but um, I was trying to move this and it didn't work too well with the truck. It didn't even hook up. So I'll bring this over here with the tractor. Perfect. You are both going bye bye. And now shopping spree begins. Now should we do a mod? I don't really want to do a mod because you can't have the worker do stuff. But I have all these claws tractors that look really tempting. And that JCB uh, fast track looks kind of tempting. But I think we're going to go just stock tractors. And I think, hmm, we need something definite, at least a T8. But I kind of want to get one of these because that's what I have in my other world. For um for the big horse planter, I think I'm just gonna do a smart tracks because it's cheaper. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Now sewing machines. We are going to get this one. This one only plants corn and sugar beets, and this one does um, everything else. And I'm not gonna do corn and sugar beets quite yet. So we will buy that and that one it says here additionally this machine offers the possibility of screen flicker the possibility to seed directly no previous cultivating or plowing necessary okay with this left i think just for you guys i'm going to showcase the helicopter i got and get that so then i can fly around without using the tab key and what else do i need Oh, I know. I kind of want to um, make silage out of one of these fields. So I'm going to make a silage truck. And basically how I do that is I have a bunch of truck mods. And so I like to take this one, buy it because it's zero euros because the mod has a glitch in it or something. Um, and then we'll get going to tippers. And then... I like to get, was it that one, or I, I forgot, no, it's this one, buy that, alrighty, I think we're done with our shopping spree, 
So we have the helicopter. I think I'm going to put that up at the farm. Okay, so how you work it is press caps lock to start everything going. Uh, left click goes up and then um, right click goes down. And so we're going to want to go up. And then it's just WASD. And that's it. It's super easy to fly. And it's really fast too. And you can get a view of Bjornholm from the sky, which I was literally giddy the first time I saw the view of Bjornholm from the sky. It was really cool. So I think we're going to land over by the farmer's house in his big lawn. I'm going to land like down there. Perfect landing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that, um, this thing actually has all these sliding doors on the side. So like, okay, we'll open that. And then there's another door. Uh, let's see. What is, okay, that's J. Opens that door. And then the pilot door is 8. Right. No, keypad 8, whoops. What do you have to... I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Now... Oh yeah, we have to sell the, um... Cultivator. Because we don't need it anymore. So that'll be some extra jingle jingle in our pockets. I think... Did I, do I still have my crone over here? I think I kept my crone over here. The ultimate si Oh, I, I, I sold it because it wasn't the ultimate silage machine. So I think I'm going to have to buy another crone because I would use a clause, but the clause, you can't, um, it's not stock, and so you can't use a worker. And as you probably know, you can't, the choppers can't store silage. And you have to always have a truck or a tipper there or whatever. So I have to use the crone, unfortunately. Because I want to, um, I want it to be like, um, real silage trucks. That's like in real life. Um, our neighbor actually just, um, he just harvested, and there's like silage trucks over there, and so I wanted to make one of those out of this flatbed and that, which I saw these, and I'm like, I saw the mod for those, I'm like, I could totally use those, because I can turn these useless trucks here, it's like I have a mod for so many of them, but they all have varying bed lengths, so I can use them um, for like different size uh, beds on them or whatever. I'm going to try to fit in here. I think I'm just going to have to back through that opening. And this truck, actually, you can put a snow plow on it. So if you had a snow mod, you could have a snow plow. But I'm not going to do snow. So we just back up, attach, attach. So see, it just fits on there perfectly, and now it'll hold like silage. So then... That's perfect. I think, do we have enough money for a crone? I bet we spent too much money. This is going to be hilarious if we did. Crone, 415. Okay, can we buy a mower? That is the big question. A mower, mower, a header. This one. They're rats. Dad, burn it. Well, what should we do? Easy flow. Eh, forget that. Um, what should we... I think we're going to sell the truck because I have a helicopter. I don't need a truck if I have a helicopter. So you will go over here, chunk, R, sell, 
And now we can buy that um, mower head for the crone. Buy. Okay. Back, back. And this is, I'm planning way ahead. So. Okay, so we have smart tracks. We will hook up to you. Alrighty, and we'll bring this back up to the farm, then come back for the silage truck and the chopper. So this thing goes a whole lot faster than um, than that uh, harvester. In the last episode, I took a cut when I was going up here with the harvester. It literally went like 10 miles an hour going up this hill. It was so slow. And now that I say that, this one's going to go down to about 10. Like, Arr! Okay. Let's see. Go, 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 go. This thing's like hecko long, but it has a working width of like 9 meters or whatever. And if you guys are wondering why my plants aren't withering, I, uh, I shut off plant withering because um, it's no fun to have withered plants. So I shut it off. And so we're filling that up. Mm. Hmm. And then it fills on its own. Yep, okay, so I can tab over to not you, not... Yeah, we're almost full there. How much wool do we have? Oh, we have another full pallet. Looky there. And we've still got feed in the trough, so that's perfect. Here, we're out of feed in the wagon, so... We're going to need to fill that up next time I feel like paying any attention to the sheep. Okay, no, please. Don't give me any more palette glitches. I had enough palette glitches in the whatever the last episode was that I worked with palettes. I had enough of those glitches. So we'll put you. I'm probably not even going to have to go up the ramp to put this on there. Or barely. Yeah, we are so close to full. We could. If we really wanted to, we could fit on one more pallet after this. And then we're ready to go to the spinnery. There we go. Yeah, so one more pallet on there, and then we will be absolutely full. That will be perfect. Because then if we, um, I'll go count. I know each pallet of wool will get you approximately $9,000. 9000 and something dollars. And so we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63,000. So that's going to be a nice little bonus. It's not going to be too terribly much, but it's going to be a nice bonus. Take you, we're going to use the thing very shortly. Once we, um, actually, oh never mind, I thought we didn't have a tipper, I thought we were going to need a tipper to tip the case harvester, but we won't. So that's there, I think I'm going to get the, um, well, I'll just take the silage truck up there because I think I'm going to use the silage truck to tip our harvester because I think this bed will hold barley. I think it said, right? I'm forgetting already. Okay, yes, it will hold barley. So that's perfect. We can use this and actually have it be like a real scenario. Actually, when in the Midwest where they harvest a lot of like row crops and stuff, they actually use auger wagons behind a like six-wheeler tractor. Um, but in the area where I live, in the valley here in California, we use silage trucks like this. Okay, so we're going to start you harvesting 
do 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 turn on the light 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 baby why did i even say that okay the benefit of having a smaller head like this is you can go longer without um without having to empty it perfect that's a going and then we'll hook up the crone and bring it up here because why not? And we're going to have to, like, let it sit in the field for a long time every time we have to go, like, dump. Because it's going to take forever to, um, or because you can't have a work, or you can't have, uh, get your words together. You can't have a chopper store silage. So, but I turned off plant withering, so that doesn't even really matter. So that's good. I hope you are enjoying Farming Simulator on the channel so far. It's been a blast adding this. Um, it seems like you can, I can come up with so many more video ideas in Farming Simulator than I can for Scrap Mechanic. So if you have any ideas for videos in Scrap Mechanic, let me know because I really, I know my channel is called Eat Sleep Garrett Scrap Mechanic and more. But my farming simulator videos are turning out a whole lot better than the scrap mechanic videos. So if you guys uh, have anything you want to see added to the farming si or farming simulator, if you have anything you want to see added to the scrap mechanic videos, definitely leave a comment and I will get back to you. And so, okay. I think we're not going to start doing this... I think we're going to use this, and which field is the smallest here that we have left? I think 38 is bigger than 24. We're actually back. Um, we're going to use 38 as our silage field because it is closer to the biogas plant where you can put your silage. So that'll, then that'll make it a bit quicker. So now we'll see how full is he. Probably not that full because this field is tiny. But we'll see here. Yeah, not that full. Oh, it froze up there. Yeek. So that's done there. What else could we do? Not forestry. I think we're done with forestry. I honestly do. I think what we could do... Now nah, I won't do that yet. I was thinking I could sell the Scorpion King, but I think I'm still too early, or this farm is too early in its infancy to do that yet. We'll collect eggs. That's what we can do. Cook, 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 cook. Lots of eggs. I calculated this, um, ooh, cluster. I calculated the price of each egg in this to be like $23 or something like that. It was in the 20s, I remember that, but it was like, man, if eggs were that much in the real world, I'd be a rich because my chickens lay like 16 eggs, or not 16, like 13 eggs a day. 13 times 20 just for a round number is like $200. So, I mean, actually no, $260, so I mean, my YouTube videos would be a whole lot better quality if my if each egg in my real world were 23 bucks. Okay, so we got all those gathered up. Let's see. Got a tipper. I kind of want to sell this because we have that silage truck. Oh, shoot, and the harvester can't harvest when it's raining. Rats. Well, let's go sell these and see if we can get another solar collector because that's something that'll like renew its um, renew its like money and stuff. You'll get money back on it quicker. Oh, we're in 120 time. Oops, don't want that. 120 is a bit too overpowered. I like to play in 60 because it's still a nice pace. So you guys don't get like bored of like nothing happening because the time is going so slow. But 120 is a bit overpowered. 
That's why I got five or six, actually six hundred million in my other world. Is it was on one twenty time, and I had literally like thirty or forty wind collector, wind energy collectors, and so it was pretty overpowered. I was getting one hundred and sixty thousand dollars every half of a minute. It was pretty insane, and so I pulled that, w once I figured out how to alter the speed of time, mm -hmm. I pulled that one back to 60, and I pulled this back to 60, because I thought 120 is a bit overpowered. So that's done. We still don't have enough for one of those. What we could do... Yeah, I think what we're going to do bef while this rain passes is... Um, Take this and go load it up with um, with feed for the sheep because we have nothing else to do. Um, I think this episode is going to be a longer episode, but I hope that it is still entertaining because I want to get a lot of stuff done because this is a game that you can sit down and do for hours upon hours and think nothing of it because you're just having so much fun so yeah I think this episode is going to be a little bit of a longer one actually I think my harvester is going again so I think we'll get this back to the farm are we going the right way yeah, we'll go this way go up the farm and leave this there and then whenever we have some spare time we can head over and fill it up that's what I hate about um, this is there's not a silage pit by the sheep farm and that would be so great because this thing it takes forever especially in this to truck across the map to the cow farm where there's actually a silage pit so it'd be kind of nice if they had um, if they had a silage pit over by the sheep farm but you can't have everything so come on you can do it get up there. This feed wagon's empty. It's not even that heavy. I mean, it's, you could be pulling like a lo fully loaded tipper. That would be a bit heavy. Then I would understand why you're going so slow. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Is my harvester going again? Yes, it is. It just finished the field, so I will switch it over to this field. Let's see. I'll just put this over here. And then go over here. I kind of wanted to turn this into a server and record uh, like multiplayer gameplays with just random people on here. But then I realized I have so many mods that it'd be like impossible to find people who had all of the mods that I have. So I forgot that idea because I was thinking I could use the claws and those like the claws Jaguar 980 and those are what they use like where I live. And so I thought that'd be cool but you can't use a worker with those and so you have to have an actual person in them and stuff so that's kind of sad. But we can line this up and press the H key. And that's done. I think we're going to go over and fill this up. And then we'll come back, empty the harvester, and then go up and make some silage on the top field, way up by the grain elevator, field number 38. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's what I hate about big trailers. When you slow down, it'll fishtail you if you're turning at all with a heavy trailer behind you. Okay, we're going to go over a jump, ladies and gentlemen, or cliff, whatever you want to call it. Whee! Oh, it was, the whole thing was in the air for like two seconds. That was sweet. Okay, we're trucking, 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 trucking. Okay. I've always wondered, what are these, like, chaff piles that are, like, scattered around the map? There's, like, one right where I am, 
There's one over by like the windmill and a couple other places. And I've always wondered what those are. Because yeah, I was just wondering. So if you guys know what those are, definitely leave a comment because I've had this game for like a year now and I don't know what those do and I feel kind of informed, so or not informed, that's what I was trying to say. Okay. Stop. Go over to here. I think we're gonna drop this, put two bales of hay in there, and then we'll put the rest silage. Okay, let's see if this hooked up will hook up because I remember the last episode. Oh yeah it will. Um, last episode it glitched into the ground and I was kind of just like whatever because I was done. I was very, very done. Okay, we're gonna try to get something from the back row because I think that one, if we get it too tall, if it's on its own, it's, it might tip, so. Put it like that. Please don't fall over. Please don't fall over. You oh, come on. How do I spear this thing? Ooh, there we go. Oh, we did it. We did it. Perfect. Now, ooh, it slid, slid down. Now it's more secure. Put it down there. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. One more and then we'll put the rest silage. Come on, there we go. I think we're gonna have to do the same method as last time. Like that. Because then it's further forward and we can just drive all the way into it. There we go. Last bale. Shimmy, shimmy. There we go. Shimmy it in there. We'll go, 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 go over here. But I think it'll take like two almost, well, one almost two full scoops. It takes all but like 2% of a second scoop to fill up this um, this little little feed wagon I have. There we go. I'm afraid my harvester is going to be like full by the time I get back over there and I'm like oh we've wasted a ton of time now. Oh no! Oh Phew! I thought we were gonna fall over there and lose all that silage. Okay. There we go. Look at that. It's going through the bottom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Glitch in the game where the silage just falls like right through the feed wagon. That's pretty funny. Okay, over here, up we go, back to fill up the feed wagon, Get the last of this, and then we'll get to the interesting stuff, which is doing row crops, so we'll go over here, forward a bit more, there we go. And then once I'm done harvesting, I'm gonna bale all of that straw, and then we uh, then we can use that and have like a 
33 to 30, good enough. Good enough. Like a 33 to 33 to 33 mixture. Oh, yep, we are full. I knew it. I knew it. We gotta go, 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 go. I wonder how much this will fill up. Let's see. Wide turns. Turn in here. I can't do that. I have to get under it a bit better. There we go. Really, a measly, it's going to be like, wow. It's going to be like 20%, maybe. Full. I'm not even going to get a full load of wheat here from all three of my fields. Dang it. Well, we'll let that finish and then empty it, go put this in the silo, and then go up and do some silage. And that'll be a whole lot more interesting because there'll be a whole lot more yield. I think we'll just wait for them because we have nothing else to do. That'll just take a second. So I think we'll just follow him back up on this last row and just gather what we can get. Actually, will it get even the whole thing on the last pass? Let's see. It's like so slow. I kind of want to get the New Holland CR 10.90 or whatever it's called. The biggest New Holland harvester in the game. It holds a lot and it has a 45 foot header and this one only has like a 35 or whatever. Are you serious? It's getting everything... This is, wow, okay. Okay. We'll just come over here. Anytime, yeah. There we go. There we go. And then the rest of that, I don't care that I collect it. It can always be, I can always collect it in the next harvest. So we'll go over to the silo, dump this, and then go up and do some silos. Oh, that's what we could have done. We could have moved all the equipment we need up to, ooh, do, 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 do. It's a problem with this thing. This truck doesn't turn that quick. So you can't do very quick reactions. And it's weird, it has a blue light. It's kind of weird. There we go, all dumped in there. And now we go up to the top. One powerful silage truck to get up there. And this one will go like 60 miles an hour, I think. But it takes a while to get up to that speed. Like, yeah. That's pretty good speed going up that hill. Not a lot of tractors can go that fast up this hill. Well, not a lot of, not a lot of tractors can go that... Whoa. Very laggy. Not a lot of tractors can go that fast, period. Okay. Field 38. Tab. There we go. And this one only goes about... 25, 26. Well, I mean, it's as fast as the Agro Star, so I mean, that's pretty good for a chopper. So it'll be go, 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 go. This one, however, will not maintain a consistent pace up. So it's losing. Losing speed, losing speed, mayday. Nope, we're good. Another reason I'd love to use the claws is it'll chop more at a time. This thing's tiny. 
this big X. Tiny compared to the 980 Claws Jaguar 980. Very huge. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Hire worker. And now, before you get going too fast, I'll get over here with a. Oh, come on. Get over there. There we go. Zoom. No, you're supposed to go straight. Come on. Why can't you go forward? Dismiss worker. Turn on harvester. Get in here a bit myself. Now hire. Perfect. And that's as far as it'll shoot. So now we're filling up pretty fast. Not as fast as the 980. A 980, like, the trucks that are in real life aren't, like, this big. But they, um, but the 980 is huge. And it would fill up one of these silage trucks in two minutes. We timed it, me and my dad. No, you're not supposed why? You're not supposed to mow the grass, you're just supposed to... You're just supposed to mow the field. Come on. Okay, this might be a little more of a hassle than I thought. We shall see. Yeah. See, it thinks we're supposed to mow the, the... Wow. Okay, we're not making silage out of this field. We are going to use it for... Um, we're going to make just conventional barley out of this. Arr, when you have a plan to make an episode and it's just completely thwarted. It doesn't feel that good. This thing only goes 13. Wow. Perfect. Okay. Another reason why I kind of want to get the CR 10.90 from New Holland. It has a bit more speed. Maybe does it have more speed when you fold the harvester? Oh, you can't fold it because the um, cause it actually has fruit in it. Okay, thirteen miles an hour. Pathetic. Okay. Okay, and so once we get this started, we'll go dump the minuscule amount of silage that we got and come back up and empty this or tip this or whatever you want to call it. Donk, donk. Do you see that? It was like just bouncing off those rails. <laughs> Actually, what we could do is wait for, well, I don't know, if, if there is a great demand while I'm still filming, we could go sell some stuff. If I even have it. I only have canola and wheat and then sugar beets and potatoes. H. Tab, tab, tabby, tab, tab. Okay. Now we'll go over to that place over to there. The biogas plant. Actually, no, that's the freight yard. Biogas plants further down the road. Same road, though. I was close. Mm 
and this is like what silage trucks do they're just like fully loaded just barreling down the road if I hit you you're going to be the binaki crunch because I'm gonna give you the binaki crunch because I've got a lot of weight and I'm moving pretty darn quick okay we're almost there there it is all the glorious silage pits I was gonna I was trying to get one of them full out of like a challenge with myself to try to fill up one of these silage pits completely and it took me forever with a crone big M and a um, and a loading wagon it took me like w probably 20 loads with the biggest loading wagon in the game Alrighty, now we'll head back up and tip that harvester. I love the look of this um, this truck. I'm so glad I got th both of these mods that adds the truck and the thing on the back. I made a truck that looks like the ones we have by us. They're actually cab overs, which are... Actually, I'll show you. Cab over trucks are the ones like that one that are flat on the front and so I put that uh, I put one of these sm really small ones actually this one's even no this one's the smallest I put the smallest on the back of it and it looked exactly like the side of trucks from by my house it ho held a minuscule capacity but I did that in the world that I do whatever I want in because I have unlimited money I have like, what, 600 times the money that I had when I started this episode before I went on that glorious shopping spree. That was so fun. Like, shopping spree! Yay! <laughs> okay. Why haven't you... Oh, you are turning around. I'm like, why did you stop? But he was just in his process of turning around. Okay, you are not full at all, so we're good. We are very good. Um, let's actually, I kind of want to show you this helicopter a bit more. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shove the link to the mod for this in the description because it is so cool. I'll show you. We can get way up high, and then. Let's see, it gets going to like 120 miles an hour. All ready at almost 100. But I turned, so it didn't increase that much. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 11. 100, okay, you know it reaches 100. Perfect. That's all I wanted to do. Actually, we'll fly to this end and it'll probably pick up even more. Oh, and I'll show you the smallest field in the map. I use, oh, grain elevator for barley. Okay, we're gonna go do that. There's the smallest field right there, 26. So we gotta go, I'm gonna pull a little cheat here and put that to real time so we can sell, make sure we have enough time to sell all of it. That's kind of cheap, but it works, so, you know, whatever. Whatever. Start losing some altitude here. 100 miles an hour coming into landing probably isn't a good idea, so we'll slow down. Down we come, down we come. Perfect. Tab. We will empty this. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Come on. I'm 
I'm terrible at this. I know there's a cruise control in the game, but I don't know how to activate it. So, if any one of you, I'm too lazy to go look it up. So, if any one of you would be so gracious as to tell me in the comments, that'd be great. Because I checked the comments anyway. Okay, so that is empty. Now we'll go over to the silo and fill up the rest of the way. I don't even think we have enough barley to fill this thing. So, I'll not cheat and turn the time back up. Because the great demands, they last for 24 hours. And so that's a whole day in the game. And so, I think we'll be good. 55 miles an hour, that's our top speed. That's the top speed of, or that's what trucks travel on the freeway. Cool, commit to realism. The modern, oh, mangle. That really should have mangled up the front of our truck, but. The developer of the mod had a commitment to realism. Okay, slow down. Start filling up. We're not gonna have nearly enough to fill this, but that's okay. Partially why I picked this bed is because we won't have to take too many loads with it. You can really get a lot, you can fit a lot in these trucks. The only way you're going to fill it really quickly is if you're doing silage. But it's kind of cool, I noticed the, like, the decreased speed of it since we put stuff in it. Like the, the added weight slowed it down. That's pretty cool by like the modder that, um, that made the bed mod actually adds weight onto the truck so it's real I like everything to be real in the game except the money and the time <laughs> which seems kind of wrong but back up jeez I had the S key held that whole time okay and we'll just come back up with it actually now nah, we'll just empty it when it gets back up here Okay, so I can't believe we got all of this done. That's perfect. <clears throat> My voice is starting to get tired though, so I think once this field is done harvesting and I go dump this at the grain elevator, or actually, yeah, once I go dump this at the grain elevator, um, and yeah, that's, yeah, once I get this dumped at the grain elevator, I think I'm going to end the episode because my voice is getting a bit tired. And that's probably not a good thing because I have to record tomorrow and I still have, um, I still have symphony today. So I have to use my lungs for that and I don't want to be completely exhausted. But don't get me wrong, I do like making videos for you guys. And even if I stay at 7 subscribers for my whole YouTube career, I'll still do it just because I enjoy doing this, coming in here and just sitting down and making videos. It's a really fun thing to do. <clears throat> and I got a second monitor, so I have two monitors hooked up. I've had that ever since I started the channel, but that really helps for when I'm like doing like because I have my recording software pulled up on one and my game which in this case is farming simulator on the big one and so then I can do these multiple things at once and it's nice and easy alrighty we're pulled up we have we filled up pulled up filled up whatever okay so that's what we had so what we had before we started and the whole harvest that's what it got us 43% load in our silage truck. Not bad, but not great. I think next time, before I plant, I'm definitely gonna fertilize. Or what I could do is get some cows and just pump slurry from there, because that's a free byproduct of cows. And then you don't have to pay for fertilizer. And fertilizer in this game is kind of expensive. 
go, go up here. Okay, let's see how much money we get. This better be worth it. Oh, crud, that's a lot. 64,000 for half a load. I'm not even half a load. That's insane. Well, if you know me, you know what I do. I get money and then I spend it. I don't hold on to it. Gotta put it back into stuff that will get you more money. No sense in holding on to it. When you can just invest it in stuff, that'll make you more. So, put it yeah, right here is fine. Perfect. Now we're back down to 44,000. But we have another solar collector, so that's good. And then we'll just go park this down here. I love this truck. I can't get over it. It looks so cool, so real. So real, mighty. Real, real, real. Stop. Alrighty, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed us going on a shopping spree and harvesting and all that great stuff, leave a like because it really helps out my channel a lot. And if you haven't already, th maybe think about subscribing to keep up with all of the awesome content coming out on my channel every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.